Well, good morning. It's Thursday and welcome to our daily prayers. And of course, what we remember is because at Easter we are speaking to a God who is alive, not just some historic figure, the memory of whom we treasure, but a God who is living and working. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal, to minister his grace. And so we pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so we're in Luke 24 at verse 9. We've just come across the women discovering the empty tomb. And here they are reporting back. When the women came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven disciples and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women because their words seemed to them like nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away, wondering to himself what had happened. One thing Luke is careful to record, and in the beginning of his gospel, he says he's going to record things accurately, is at this stage, this wasn't quite so much the scene of triumph as much as confusion. It deeper understanding was to take a time. There was an understanding, but it was only growing rather slowly. The women may have been convinced, but the disciples weren't. But Peter goes and sees and starts to turn it over in his mind. And I guess it's an encouragement to you and me that our journey with God, our journey with Jesus, is one of gradually understanding more and more about him. Sometimes it takes me years and I'll see something completely new and fresh that I felt I haven't understood before or maybe have re-understood at a greater depth. Perhaps a good place to start is in the words of chapter 10, talking Jesus saying, I tell you many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see but did not see it, to hear what you hear but did not hear it. Let's pray for eyes to see and ears to hear what God is doing. A space for our prayers now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>